It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. Yes, yes. Listen to my words, and let all else wash away. Listen to my words, and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood. O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths, Receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The ritual is complete, my friends. You may now breathe in the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, it will not help you traverse them. I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? Oh, like a fish, in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. Somehow, the boy just isn't very buoyant. Mm, skilled or no, your bodies are ill-suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. But first, let us take to the water. Summon for you noble steeds of great strength. rescued Kusetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. Should you become parted from your steeds, return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends, and may the Kami speed you on your way. We'll find that treasure in no time! Come on!
I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. This scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, name calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? Orphan of the Nayuri. Widow of Sashihai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. Not enough. Not nearly enough. My appetite for your agony is as an abyss. Bottomless. Insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. You will crawl on your belly through the muck and the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. All of you. But you think you are made of sterner stuff? Hmm. Rather than have him beat you, Mayhap I should have my oath go and fetch your master's head. Oh, poor, poor Lord Kayan. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy. For a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. Tell me, how did it feel to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? But you were a stranger to living with disgrace, of course. In the what was it? 25 years since you were humiliated and tossed into an imperial jail? You had plenty of time to get used to it. Oh yes, I heard the stories. About the samurai who would do anything to return to his master's side, even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with death, that he slew a thousand men in the Empire's name. Truly a tale for the poets. I do not deny my sins, but I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like me. So, let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit, I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. And I know you helped him flee. So tell me, what became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Of all the bloody... Stupid. <laughs> oh. When I get back to Eorzea, I'm gonna find that little shite, and I'm gonna make him pay.